Hi, good morning. Welcome to Storytime in the Book Nook with Squirrel and I. Today we're really excited. We picked out books about the fun of gardening and celebrating that. Do you guys like digging in the dirt? Because I know we do, don't we, Squirrel? Yes, we do. So we'll show you, before we get started reading, a few of the things that we like to bring with us when we go out to the garden. The first one is favorite pair of gloves. The second thing, a handy dandy shovel. The third thing, this one's really important you guys, I never go out without my sun hat. And last of all, a watering can. Now I heard that some of you that are listening today love helping to water with a garden hose and the last story might just be about that so stay tuned all right don't worry if you don't have a garden near you you can do some fun planting right at home this is a fun family activity a friend who might be watching today isla painted this for me isn't it cute and you can you can do something like this at home and then you can grow something green right inside especially on those rainy days Okay, I'll always try to have a rainy day activity project or something for you. Squirrels, should we get started? Okay, because we've got some good books to read. The first one is Good Morning Garden. Good. Squirrel's going to sit right here. Squirrel, click on your listening ears. Okay. I love this one. Okay, pay attention to the pictures. Shows lots of surprises in the garden in the morning. I'm a morning person. Are you? Good morning, sun. Good morning, sky. Good morning, orange butterfly drinking dew. Good morning, blue delphinium, purple phlox, and pink hollyhocks. Good morning, bee balm and bumblebees. Good morning, cherries on cherry trees and blackberries on bushes. Good morning to plants with funny names like cow vetch and goat's beard and sneezeweed and dogbane. And don't forget, forget me not. Good morning, toad under my flower pot and garter snake among the leaves right there. And swallows nesting in the eaves. What do you think is going to be next? chipmunk sitting by his hole in a mole. Spiders and ladybugs, dragonflies, and even slugs. I love this page. Hey, ladybug. To all living things in this place, Good morning. Did you like that? I hope so. All right, for the next one, Squirrel brought his friend, Bear, because we are going to be reading a book where Bear goes on some adventures. Jamberry. This one is a family favorite. I'm excited to read it to you. You might know it. We love saying it out loud together when they, when my kids were little, so feel free to do that if you know this story. And Bear is going to be sitting here with us since it's his adventure, isn't it? All right, it says, For my special berry picker 
and the two little berries. Jamberry. Celebrating growing all kinds of things, fruits, vegetables, and flowers. This one is about fruit. One berry, two berry, pick me a blueberry. There's bear. Hatberry, shoeberry, in my canoe berry. Whoa, that's a lot of blueberries. Look really closely, kids. Look what's in the trees. I think I see toast and crackers and little cookies right there with jam. Under the bridge and over the dam, looking for berries. Berries for jam. Whoa! Look what's in there. <laughs> They're going down. There, you had quite the adventure, didn't you? There it is. Look at all the blueberries, you guys. Whoa! Oh, Bear, are you tired from all this? Three berry, four berry, hay berry, strawberry. Finger and paw berry, my berry, your berry. Look closely and the animals are watching right up there and they're sharing berries together. See? Strawberry ponies and strawberry lambs dancing in meadows of strawberry jam. Yum. Quickberry, quackberry, pick me a blackberry. <laughs> Trainberry, trackberry, clickety clackberry. Whoa, the goose looks like it's the conductor. Do you see Bear sitting there? Bear, did you have fun on that ride? Rumble and ramble and blackberry br bramble. Billions of berries for blackberry jamble. That's a lot of berries. Raspberry, jazzberry, razama, tazberry, berry band, merry band, jamming in berry land. Oh. I can hear the music now. Raspberry rabbits and raspberry band, elephants skating on raspberry jam. That is a funny picture. <laughs> Moonberry, strawberry, cloudberry sky, boomberry, zoomberry, rockets shoot by. Whoa. Mountains and fountains rain down on me, buried in berries. What a jam jamboree. You see them? Right there. Well, since Bear sat so nicely, I brought oh, strawberries and blueberries for him later for a snack. Yum. Big red strawberries and blueberries. Does it make you hungry? It does me. <laughs> Are you going to share? So we're going to let Bear sit right over here with his berries. Bye, Bear. Enjoy your treat. All right. Squirrel, what are you doing there? Okay. Are we ready for the next book? The next book is very funny. The next book is about a pig. And this poor pig has nothing to eat except apples. Can you imagine? I mean, I love apples, but that's all he has. And he thinks, hmm, what else would be good? Maybe vegetables. Do you have a favorite vegetable? Maybe you could grow it in a garden. Here we go. I love carrots. A garden for pig. Can they see little pig? Let's see what happens. Here is the apple farm, and here is Pig. Here is Mrs. Pippins, who owns the farm and Pig. 
Here she is making roasted apples, baked apples, applesauce, and apple pie for pig to eat. All from their garden and orchard. That's a lot of apples. Do you see how Pig is a little bit frustrated? He doesn't want any more apples. What do you think is going to happen? We grow apples and only apples, says Mrs. Pippins proudly. Pig loves life on the farm, but lately something has been troubling him. He's tired of apples. A vegetable would be so nice. Look at all the different vegetables to choose from. Have you tried any of those? Tiptoe, tiptoe, oink, oink. Pig wants a closer look and he stretches tall to see the vegetables in the garden. Creak goes the fence around the garden. Crash, pig tumbles in. Snap, cracks the vine. Squish goes the squash. Down they go, seeds and all. Gulp. Oh dear, here comes Mrs. Pippins. She is not happy. No more gardening for you. And she ties Pig up. Oink, oink. Pig is patient. He'll wait until Mrs. Pippins leaves. Stomp goes his feet, stretch goes the rope, pull, pig pulls really hard, thud, pig falls to the ground and the rope will not break. Oh dear, here comes Mrs. Pippins, she's not happy, no more mischief for you. Into the pen pig goes pig, click, the gate closes behind him. Pig is patient. He'll wait till Mrs. Pippins leaves. Bam! Squeeze! Oh no! Pig won't fit. He backs up slowly. He charges. Bam! Goes the gate. It will not break. Oh dear. Here comes Mrs. Pippins. She's carrying something. What do you think she's carrying? You see, she's got a bucket of something. Hopefully it's something good. Down goes the bowl. Time to eat, says Mrs. Pippins. Apple flambe. Oh, more apples. <laughs> no more apples, cried Pig. Pig digs with his snout and he rolls the dirt over and over and over and the sun sets. How could he did? All kinds of digging. He likes digging in the dirt too. In the morning, Pig's pen looks like a little, a little kind of like a garden. If only he had some seeds. Rumble, says Pig. Rumble, says his tummy. Whoop, out come the seeds and Pig had them all along. Oh dear. And the rain came. And here comes the sun. Soon the tiny seedlings sprout and the big leaves unfold, yellow flowers bloom, and squash is growing. Look at that. Can you see? He looks pretty happy. Pig is patient. Soon large ripe squash will fill his pen. Pig is very busy. Smush goes the squash. Down go the seeds and gulp. Pig is happy. The end. <laughs> All right. Okay, the last story, if you can stay with us, I hope so, is really cool. It celebrates all the wonders, not only in the garden above, but what's happening down in the dirt? All the adventures. Are you ready? Okay. Up in the garden and down in the dirt. Up 
up in the garden, I stand and plan my hands full of seeds and my head full of dreams. Spring sun shines down to melt the sleepy snow and wind whistles through the last year's plants and mud sucks at my rain boots. Oh, it's not quite time, Nana says. Down in the dirt, things need to dry out and warm up. What's down there, I ask? Let's see. Down in the dirt is a whole busy world of earthworms and insects digging and building and stirring up soil. They're already working down in the dirt. Up in the garden, we snap brittle stalks, scoop rustly armfuls, and wheel away weeds for the chickens. While they squabble and scratch, we spread compost over the soil. Down in the dirt, pill bugs chew through last year's leaves. I give a gentle poke. They roll up tight and they hide in their plated suits of armor, roly-poly round. There's one of them. See? Oh, there's a bunny. Up above. Up in the garden, it's time to plant. I trail a furrow with my fingers and I sprinkle the seeds in a careful row. Give them a drink, says Nana. We put down... We put them down to snuggle in the dark. See, they use their watering can. Down in the dirt, a tomato hornworm rests, waiting for wings and the leaves where she'll lay her eggs. How cool is that? Up in the garden, up above, carrots sprout and peas blossom. Wasps are on the prowl and honeybees visit. Legs loaded with pollen. Now that's a fun sight. There's the worms down below where the roots, see? I weed and I wilt in sun that's so strong that even Nana looks for shade. And down in the dirt, the earthworms tunnel deep and I'm so jealous of their cool, damp, Up in the garden, rain shower. Nana turns the hose on me. Ah! <laughs> I hide behind the cucumber vines, but their leaves can't save me. I shiver and I laugh, and I'm drenched in Nana's rain. And down in the dirt, water soaks deep. The roots drink it in, and a long-legged spider still walks over the streams. See that? Up in the garden, there's so much to eat. Ladybugs feast on aphids. Nana crunches green beans, and I bite into a ripe, warm tomato from the sun. Juice dribbles down my chin. Yum. Down in the dirt, a robin's beak finds a cricket, a beetle, a grub. Slugs are scrumptious, too. Can you see all those insects? Look carefully. Up in the garden, we pick cukes and zucchini. Yum, harvesting into the dark. Bats swoop through the sunflowers and I pluck June bugs from the basil until it's time for bed. Down in the dirt, skunks work the night shift. They snuffle and dig and gobble cutworms while I sleep. You see? Skunk. Lots going on in the garden above and below. Up in the garden, a praying mantis wakes to hunt mosquitoes, and Nana sprays away the aphids, and I'm after grasshoppers. Ready to swoosh, but what do you think's going to happen? Let's see. Snap! 
someone else's faster. Down in the dirt, a smooth, shiny garter snake crunches on supper. Up in the garden, the wind grew, grows cool and pumpkins blush orange and sunflowers bow to September. Nana ties them together to build a house for reading. My kids and I did that when they were little. That's a fun thing to try. See that? They're reading. All of them are towering above. You can bring your books anywhere. Down in the dirt, an orb weaver spins a web, um, a web strand by silken strand. She'll munch on moths tonight. There's the moths in the web right there. Isn't that cool? It's a pretty web. Maybe you can find a spider's web today. Up in the garden, colored leaves litter the squash vines, and we know the cold is coming. Hurry, hurry, and harvest. There's enough for the neighbors. And down in the dirt, frantic ants gather what we have left behind. They're storing food for colder days ahead. Up in the garden, frost draws lace on leftover leaves where secret egg sacs hang, waiting for the warmth to return. We say goodbye and spread the winter blankets. Down in the dirt, beetles burrow, ants scurry home, and earthworms curl tight in the dark. You see? When Grandpa calls us in for soup, an autumn moon is rising. Up in the garden, dry corn stalks tremble and the wind smells like winter. But the long, ripe days of summer still rest in the garden beds. Did you know that? How cool is that? The ladybugs and the bumblebees and the earthworms and the ants are hunkered down hiding, biding their time. Dreaming of sunshine and blossoms and sprouts. Under the bare arms of trees and the blanketing snow, a whole new garden sleeps down in the dirt. Well, I hope that that inspired you to get outside with a shovel, do some planting, and take care of some plants, okay? So we'll see you next week. Happy planting. Bye. Squirrel wants to say bye. Bear wants to say bye. He ate all his berries. See you next week.